Hey guys, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe. Assalamu alaikum viewers and welcome back to this channel. Today our topic is water in pharmaceutical industry and I will share this topic in a very brief way. So let's get us started. Water may be referred to as the elixir of life. In the pharmaceutical industry for which the quality of water is critical and a high priority. Water is an essential ingredient of various pharmaceutical preparations and is also used to clean process equipment and hence plays a pivotal role in pharmaceutical processing. Water is the most widely used raw material in the manufacture of active pharmaceutical ingredients or API in intermediates in finished dosage forms. Water is thus an important raw material in GMP and in validating the manufacturing process. Why purification of water is important or needed? Although tap water is reasonably pure, it is always variable due to seasonal variations, regional variations in quality. One must remove impurities and control microbes to avoid contamination of products. Pre-treatment depends on quality of feed water. Quality of water should be specific for product quality. Purification of water may be necessary because water contains organic and inorganic impurities, microbial contamination, endotoxin, particulate contamination. Low quality of water can lead to product degradation, product contamination, loss of product and profit. Different grades of water for pharmaceutical purposes, each type has its own characteristics for all parameters. Portable water, purified water, water for injection, sterile water for injection, inhalation, irrigation, bacteriostatic water for injection. Let's discuss portable water. It's used in early stages of chemical synthesis, used in early stages of equipment cleaning, sources may public water supply wells or combination of more than one of these must meet the requirements of US EPA 40 CFR 141. Seasonal variations of quality may occur or must be considered for treatment before usage. Purified water is also called as distilled water, used as excipients in manufacturing of pharmaceuticals. It is used for equipment cleaning, preparation of bulk chemicals, Prepared using potable water as feed. Now types of purification may be deionization, distillation, ion exchange, reverse osmosis or RO and filtration. Must meet ionic, organic chemical and microbial requirements. Systems that produce, store and circulate water under ambient conditions are susceptible to bioflims. This can be provided by frequent sanitization and monitoring. Let's discuss water for injection. It is used as excipients in manufacturing of potentials, used as equipment cleaning, especially product contact surfaces of estrile products. Preparation of estrile bulk chemicals prepared using purified water as feed method of preparation is multi-column distillation must meet ionic organic chemical microbiological and endotoxin requirements factors like microbial contamination and endotoxin should be controlled by circulation frequent sanitization and monitoring for the preparation of media in microbiology lab we use deionized water or purified water and we also use distilled water for this purpose. Deionized water is just clear from ions while distilled water is free from organisms as well as ions. For autoclaving or steam sterilization we use distilled water as it's usually mentioned in manuals. Double distilled water means it has been distilled for two times. For making double distilled water, it's constantly given heat at 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. Double distilled water is also called as water for injection. 
other than USB guidelines, we have also WHO guidelines. Uh, their number is 929-2005 and extra 3. Where the title is WHO Good Manufacturing Practices Water for Pharmaceutical Use. So they mentioned different water categories like drinking water, purified water, highly purified water, water for injection and other grades of water. Let's start discuss each water category in a very brief way. So the number one is drinking water. Drinking water quality is covered by WHO drinking water guidelines, standards from the ISO and other regional and national agencies. If drinking water is used directly in certain stages of pharmaceutical manufacturing or is the feed water for the production of higher qualities, then testing should be carried out periodically by the water user side to confirm that the quality meets the standards required for potable water. Purified water Purified water should be prepared from a potable water source as a minimum quality feed water should meet the pharmacopoeial specification for chemical and microbiological purity and should be protected from recontamination and microbial proliferation. Highly purified water Highly purified water should be prepared from potable water as a minimum quality feed water. This grade of water must meet the same quality standard as water for injection, including the limit for endotoxins, but the water treatment methods are not considered to be as reliable as distillation. Highly purified water may be prepared by combinations of method such as reverse osmosis, ultrafiltration, and deionization. Water for injection Water for injection should be prepared from potable water as a minimum quality feed water. Water for injection is not a sterile water and is not a final dosage form. It is an intermediate bulk product. Other grades of water When a specific process requires a special non-pharmacopoeial grade of water, this should be specified and should at least satisfy the pharmacopoeial requirements of the grade of WPV required for the type of dosage form or process step. If you are still watching this video, thanks for watching.